Hello, hello. Okay. This question is from Chantel about a week ago. And she says, Hi, Naya. I love your videos. Beautiful feather hat. So much fun. I was always wondering why things were happening to me and how to change it in my life. This gives me my power back to change things on my own. I'm assuming she means the videos. I am working on that in my life. Why does it seem to take a while sometimes, even though I know it's up to me? Does it mean that I am where I should be at this time in my life? Number one, you're always where you're supposed to be in your life. You cannot mess it up ever. There are everybody, even somebody like me, who's, this is my first time here, um, everybody has multiple timelines, and you get to choose which one you want to experience at any given time. Whatever one you're, you're experiencing now, um, I'm assuming, well, I don't have to assume because I can see it, but there are versions or other timelines that are more comfortable more comfortable. I wouldn't say necessarily, see this is the trick here whenever you're doing timelines. You may get to a timeline that is human versions more comfortable. You may have more what you want, but it won't be as full of cool experiences as the one that you don't have what you want. So that's the exchange here. So if you came to play the game more than likely, you're going to play and choose the timelines where you're not getting as much where you want because that creates much more interesting and complex, complex experiences. If you came like I came to help Gaia get to 5D, and I don't really care about playing the game, it's just not my gig, then, or you're just tired of playing the game and you want to something softer, especially if you've been playing the game hard, then and you want to go to something where things are just going right, that are easier for a while, then you can go to those other timelines. But on the other side, we've got everything that we want. That is not a new experience. That is who we really are. If you're trying to get back to that because you're leaving, then what you have to do is you have to be step by step, moment by moment. Depending upon how bad your life is, remember that unless you're oh, I don't know, 15, you have probably spent part of your life in the third dimension. Third dimension was full of all kinds of things that taught you to believe and feel a certain way. These were deeply, deeply ingrained in you. They're, in, they're so ingrained that even though you can walk through a wall, there's no reason in the world why you can't walk through a wall. It's full of atoms that are blank energy. It's more empty space than it is anything else. And you know that scientifically. But you run into the wall and stop. Why? Because you believe you can't walk through that wall. Well, the same thing is true when you're trying to change your life. If your life has sucked because you've created it according to the rules that you've been taught, believing that it's very hard to do things and you're not worthy and all that garbly goop, you've got to undo all that. Now, because there's so much of it, and it's so layered and it's so deep. That's the reason why I say, you know, you got a lot of people that say, go back and, and go through these things one at a time. In my life, I don't have enough time to go through. I didn't, when I died to come back, I don't have enough time to go through all the, all the things that happened to me or was taught to me and undo them. I just don't have time to do them one at a time. And when I did it, I felt bad. And I had a bad day the next day. I'm not a big believer in going back and experiencing those things. When you get good enough that you can go back and look at them objectively, like you're watching something happen to something else, something happening to somebody else, then it's fine. But if you go back into those things and you're experiencing them again, you're sending that message to the law of attraction again. Because the law of attraction doesn't do time, linear time, it just responds to your vibration. So you've got to, you're going to go through and you're going to be sending out these vibrations that you've done your whole life. And a lot of them, you don't even know you're doing it. Which is why I say to you, just work on being happier in the moment and go moment to moment to moment. Just don't worry about the rest. 
if you do moment to moment to moment, I promise you that a month from now you'll look at your life and go, whoa, it's, it's, it's definitely better. And a year from now you'll really see a difference if you do nothing but moment to moment be a little bit happier. What can you do in this moment to be a little bit happier? What can you do? Can you smile at the person in the car next door? Can you say something nice to somebody in the workplace? Can you? Anything. Moment to moment, just a little bit happier. I promise you will slowly but surely dig your way out. Now, if you want to find your soulmate in the next six months, buy the house that you've always dreamed of, have the car that you've always dreamed of, and have perfect health, really there are better channels to go to, not mine. This is, that is not what I'm for. I'm for knowledge from the other side or star seeds to help them dig their way out of this hole that is so difficult for them. And you do that by staying in the moment and being a little bit happier, a little bit happier, a little bit happier. For everybody else, I've got a lot of information about the other side, I've got a lot of information about the fifth dimension, well, any of the dimensions really, but we don't need to talk about the third. And I'd rather not talk about the fourth because I don't want to get stuck there. But I will talk about the fourth for anybody else. I'll just let you let you know I'm not going to go as deep or spend as much time in the fourth dimension because fifth dimension is what I'm focusing on. That's all. Okay? Does that make sense? I hope that answers your question. Okay? All right. Thank you so much, Chantel, for asking. Please ask me any questions you've got, guys. I'm open to any of your questions. Thank you so much for my PayPal people, my Patreon people. Thank you so much for those of you who order sessions. That really, really helps a lot. Appreciate all of you watching these videos. And thank you for the thumbs up and the kind words and the support. Thank you so much. Hey, I'll see you guys around. Huge hugs. I'll check you later. Bye now.